Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make millions of coins on FIFA 17 very easily with no risk at all. And out of the 8 million coins I've made on this game from trading, I've actually been able to make around half of that by using this method right here. It is so, so effective, and you're going to be able to get cards for 150, 200, maybe 300 coins that in the future you're going to be able to sell on often for upwards of 5,000 coins. I've been able to get cards in the past for 150 coins that I've sold for 10k. It is as simple as that. And what you're going to be doing is investing in players needed for future league score builder challenges. Now, for those of you who don't know, every single month, two of these league SBCs are released. And they're for the top scorers from last year from different leagues around the world. Now, as you guys can see, we actually had two released pretty recently, and that was for the Championship and the Bundesliga, and there are loads and loads of others that have been released so far throughout FIFA 17. But there are still plenty of others to be released in the future, because obviously there are lots of other leagues on Ultimate Team. Now, as I'm sure a lot of you guys will already know, pretty much all of the major leagues around the world, as well as a lot of the medium-sized leagues, have had League Scorebooker Challenges released. So we've had the Bundesliga, the Cal A, La Liga Liga, and the Premier League as the major leagues. And we've also seen a lot of medium-sized leagues. So we've seen the Championship, for example. We have seen the Super League, the Bancomer MX, we've had the MLS, we've had leagues like the Liga Nostra right here, we've had the Eredivisie, and now we're starting to see a lot of smaller leagues just because there's not that many big leagues in the world, there's not many big leagues on Ultimate Team. So now we're starting to see leagues like the J League, which have just a couple of gold cards, there's only two or three gold cards in this league, and then it's mainly made up of silver and bronze cards, so they're the best investments you guys can go and get because you're getting them so cheaply, their prices will go up a lot, so I'm going to be covering all the different leagues we're likely to see in the future. Two are released every single month, and with the last ones, which were the Bundesliga and Championship, released a couple of days ago when I'm recording this video, in about three and a half weeks, that's when, when we're going to see the next two leagues called the Challenges. And pretty much all the ones I'm going to cover will come out within the course of FIFA 17. It's just a matter of time when they come out. Two will come out every single month. No one really knows which ones will come out when, but uh, you will probably see pretty much all the score builder challenges and all the I'm going to cover come out across FIFA 17. So if you guys go and get investments from all the different teams and all the different leagues, you'll be able to make some great profit in the future. And in this video, I'll be showing you all the best investments to pick up, all the ones I'm picking up, and also just how expensive some of these players can become. Before we do get on into the investments, I did just want to show you guys how expensive some of these players do actually become once an SBC has been released. So you guys can see Right here. This is Bournemouth Defenders right now, and they go for around 5,000 coins. The centre backs, though, are so expensive. You look at this guy right here, Wilson, for example, 25k. He's extinct on the market. That's 25,000 coins for a silver player. That is ridiculous, and I believe he's the only centre back on the market right now. Another example is this 69 rated left mid from Vittoria Setubal called Santos. And because he's the only left mid from that team on Ultimate Team, he actually goes for 12,000 coins. And it's only because of this squad challenge, not because he's a good player or anything like that. But he goes for 12,000 coins, and a lot of players do actually go up to this type of price. So if you guys invest in the right ones, you never know. They could actually go up to like 10, maybe 11, 12. Even, as you've seen with some of the Bournemouth defenders, like 20,000 coins or so. One final example is silver players from Crotone in this area. And these cards obviously needed for the Higuain SBC. And a lot of them you were able to get for around 150 coins or so a couple of months ago. And I was actually investing in these cards ages ago, like four months ago or so. For 150 coins, I was able to sell them all on for around two to 6,000 coins once the SBC came out. And these cards, they they really do go up massively in price. I mean, the minimum price for any cards from Crotone right now is around 2,000 coins. So no matter who you buy, really, you're going to be normally able to sell the cards on for around 1,000 coins or so with most SBCs. And some of the cards, depending on the positions, are obviously going to go up more. They're going to be rarer. And a lot of cards are going to go up, as I've shown you just a minute ago, with, for example, the Bournemouth Defenders. They can go up to about 25,000 coins or so. So you really can make insane profit if you invest in the right players. Now, moving on to the best investments that you guys can pick up to make a huge amount of coins in the future very, very easily. We're going to start off with the Hyundai A-League. And this is a perfect league for investing. You've got a few gold cards. And you've got a ton of silvers, so it's so, so easy. The top scorer is Bruno Fornaroli last year. He got 23 goals, and he's actually got a decent card. I mean, mid-70s for most of those stats. With an SBC card, he's going to have maybe an 83 rating, maybe an 84. He's going to have probably over 80 for pace, dribbling, shooting, and physical. He'll have a decent card with four-star skills as well, so it could be a decent one to unlock. And what I'd recommend you guys doing is going and investing in every single silver and gold player from the leagues I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. And it seems like that will cost you a lot. It's going to cost you a maximum of around 25 to 30,000 coins to buy every player from each of those individual leagues. So it's about 20k to buy all of the silver players from the Hyundai League, and it's going to cost you a similar amount for pretty much all the other leagues. And this basically will cover you for any SBTs that come out. You guys can either go and complete the score builder challenge as soon as it's released, do it very, very cheaply. I mean, if I spend 20k on getting every player, I'll probably spend 10,000 coins in total 
from these cards here to complete the SPC and then I can just uh, kind of sell the other ones on and make coins. So you can do that if you want to complete the SPCs very quickly as soon as they come out. Or what you can actually do is to wait a couple of weeks or so and then sell these cards on because I would recommend waiting a week or so before selling these investments just so the cards do get a bit rarer on the market and their prices do go up a bit more. So what you want to do is go and invest in all of the non-bronze players really from these leagues. You can go with bronze players but they're kind of a, a bit uh, hit and miss. Some of them are only going to go up like a couple hundred coins so it's better to go with the silver players. They're more reliable and any gold cards as well. Now obviously you're probably thinking... How would you go and invest in every silver player from a, from a league? It's quite complicated if you, if you kind of think about it. It's actually not because all you guys need to do is go and use FootSync. And it's a Google Chrome extension linked to FootWiz. There'll be a link on screen right now and a link in the description down below. And all you do is download it, link it to the web app. And it's going to show you every single league on Ultimate Team. And it's going to show you all the players from those leagues. And it will show a number next to it saying how many players you've got from that league. And it shows a percentage of the players. So it shows, for example, for me, it shows that I've got around 80% of players from the Hyundai League and that means I'm covered for any SBCs that come out in the future and it's going to show you whether you have a player or not or whether you don't from a specific league so it will show you a full list of all the players with a tick next to them if you've got them or not so what you want to do is go through click for example on the Hyundai League when you're on the FootSync app again link down below as I said and you're going to see the full list of players from this league and all you want to do is go and get any of the silver players that you don't have from the league it's as simple as that get any of the gold cards too and the Hyundai League is a great place to start. There are plenty of other leagues I'll show you guys in just a minute. But the Hyundai League is definitely one that I would recommend investing in. I did this, for example, with the Saudi League. And I was able to complete the Omar Al Summit SPC very, very cheaply. I spent around 25, 30,000 coins. I actually did it on stream uh, about a month ago. Investing in all the cards for the SPC. And I was able to complete the Scorbida Challenge very cheaply. I spent 25, 30,000 coins so on those investments. I used about half of them in the SPC. So in total, I spent 15,000 coins to get an Omar Al Summit 85 rated card. I sold the rest of the cards and made about 100k. So I was able to make 100k and do the SPC for spending like 25, 30,000 coins. It's so, so easy. You guys can either complete the SPC cheaply or sell the cards on. It's really up to you. But go and get all the silvers. Some of them only going to go up maybe about 500, maybe 1,000 coins. But some of the cards, depending on the positions, are going to go up massively to like 5 or 6k and can make you some very, very easy coins. So the first league is the Hyundai League. Well, obviously, there are lots of others, and I'm going to cover those right now. Starting off, we've got the Austrian Bundesliga. Now, this league's got around 10 different teams in, so it's a good one to go and get some investment from. Lots of silvers, a couple of gold cards, I believe there are two, and then a few bronze cards too. So if you guys go and look, for example, for the gold players, you will see there are two different cards. You've got Dabor, and the top scorer from last year, Jonathan Soriano, he's the player who would be released in an SBC. So obviously, you can go and get a few of those gold cards, and all you want to do is just go over to FootSync, go to the Austrian Bundesliga, and it's going to show you the list of players, and then you just want to go through if there's anyone you don't have you probably won't have many players from this league then just go and pick them up it's as simple as that now obviously you don't want to pay like four or five thousand coins for a silver player if you're going and getting your investments just because they're going to be overly inflated they might be rare on the market something like that i wouldn't recommend kind of overspending on these players don't spend more than maybe a thousand coins or so on most of the silver players you go and pick up i would recommend just going through getting these cards like this you get cards for 200 coins from this league it's so so easy you can get them for 150 coins on bid and just send them to your club. It's so, so easy. These cards are going to go massively in price in the future and can make you some very, very easy coins. So the Austrian Bundesliga, definitely a good one to invest in. You've got lots of silvers, a few bronzes, and a few gold cards. So the silver cards are definitely good ones to go and invest in. Next up is the RSL, or the Swiss Super League. And the top scorer last year was actually De Boer. But as you guys saw a minute ago, he now plays for Red Bull Salzburg, I do believe, in the Austrian Bundesliga. So he's not going to be released as an SBC card. I believe it's going to be this guy right here who is French. And uh, he is a striker who I believe actually got a winter upgrade card. Horayu, I think that's how you pronounce that guy's name. He was the second top scorer, so he would be released as an SBC card. And similar to the last league, there's lots of different gold and silver cards in this league. So if you look for golds, there's a few more than the previous one. You've got Sushi, you've got Horayu, you've got Bia, you've got Rave, you've got Barnetta. You've got uh, a couple of other cards like Yanko, Zufi, you've got Delgado. So you've got actually a few gold cards in this league. So you can go and get all of those as investments. And there's loads and loads of silver players. So I believe there are 20 different teams in this league. And this one's definitely one I think could come out in the future. I mean, there's some decent players in it. I think people would want to go and complete this SBC. And you guys can go and get these cards so cheaply, 150 or 200 coins. A very, very easy one to go and invest in. Plenty of silvers, a few gold cards too. And uh, yeah, very, very simple. All you want to do, go over to FootSync, go over to this league right here, so the RSL. And all you then want to do is just go through... And if there's any players you don't have, pick them up. Simple as that. You can get them very cheaply. And these cards prices are going to go up lots in the future. And if you go and cover every single option, you're guaranteed to make profit in the future. Because 
not every one of these cards are going to go up massively. I mean, some of these silver cards may go up to like four or 500 coins. You're still going to make profit on them if you get them for 200, but a lot of them are going to go up to maybe four or 5,000 coins. So if you get every single player, it covers all the options and you're going to be making huge amounts of profit overall. I mean, you could spend probably 20K to get every single player from this league and you could sell all those investments on for at least 200K or so or complete the SPC very cheaply and then sell them on maybe make 100K or so. So it's really, it really is up to you uh, what you do with the investments, but uh, you're still going to be able to make profit no matter what you do really. So the RSL, that's another great league for investing. The Argentinian Primera Division is another great league to get some investment from. Very, very similar to the previous ones. You've got quite a few gold players and lots of silver as well. The top scorer last year was Marco Ruben, who I believe has a gold card. And if you look right here, there are quite a few gold players you guys can go and pick up. Lots of different ones right here. And uh, yeah, I think there's more there's more gold cards with this league than with most of the other ones that I'm going to be showing you right here in the video. And that's actually because this is the biggest league on Ultimate Team. It's actually got 30 different teams in, so it's a massive league. And you can go and get all of these gold cards. They're very cheap, but they don't normally go up too much. But it's always good to have them just in case a couple of them do go up. It covers you. So again, just go over to FootSync, go to the Premier of the video, on, and then you want to go through get anyone that you don't have. Silver players, there's loads and loads you can go and get here. And they're all so cheap. You can get these cards for 150 coins on bid for pretty much every single one of the non-rares. Maybe a couple of them are going to be a bit rarer, but uh, if they go for maybe 1,000 coins, 2,000 coins, I would recommend getting them just because they're going to be a bit inflated and it's better to go and get a load of cheaper cards and then for the rare ones you're again not going to be spending too much at all um, but if you go right here you can just go maximum price 150 and literally just go through spam bids on all of these guys and then if you're going collecting kind of individual players you don't have yet if you're using foot sync you can just look up their names and go and get them it's as easy as that and you can go and get lots of different players from this league. It's a really good one for investing. It's got a lot of different teams, loads and loads of silvers, a few gold cards as well, a couple of bronzes, and it's a perfect league to go and get some investments from. Next up, we've got the Liga de Mayor. This is the Colombian league, and there's a few gold cards, as with most of the leagues I've shown you, and loads and loads of silvers as well. I'm not too sure who the top scorer was, from last year. Hernandez, I think this guy right here actually got into the team this season from the rest of the world. So it could be him. Although this guy has had a winter upgrade, so has had a decent season so far. Maybe the top scorer. I'm not too sure. If you do know, then leave a comment down below. But this league right here, a few gold cards. Go and get all of those very, very cheaply there. Obviously, don't get the informs. Don't overpay for any silver cards either. But go and get cards like this for 150 or 200 coins. It's so, so easy. And you can get all these cards, send them to your club, and just kind of stock up on them. Keep them in your club. And at one point or another in the future, they're going to be needed for a league score bit of challenge. And you're going to be able to serve them on or complete the SBC very, very cheaply. The penultimate league that I'm going to be investing in is the Campeonato Scotia Bank. And this is the league in Chile. And the top scorer last year, I believe, was Esteban Paredes. And you guys can see him right here. He's actually got an inform. This is his base card. And there's a few gold cards you guys can go and get mainly from these three teams here so we've got um universidad catolica mainly colo colo they're the best team i believe in chile they've got loads and loads of gold players and then also there's a uh, universidad de chile one of the bigger teams right there as well and there's a couple of others I do believe you guys can go and pick up. So a few different players there. And what you do with those gold cards, get the silver players too though. As always, go and get these cards for 150 or 200 coins. Know what to do now. I've shown you with this with pretty much all of the previous teams and leagues. So just aim, go and get all these cards very cheaply. Use foot sync to make sure you get all of them. It's very, very simple. The final league is going to be the K League in Korea. And we've already seen the J League with Attacker released. And it's a very, very similar league. As in there's not many gold players and a lot of silver players. So it's a decent one to go and get some investment from. And you guys can see there's not too many gold cards. There's a couple of different ones. I'm not too sure who the top scorer was from last year. If you do know, then leave a comment down below. Uh, it may be Lee Don Gook. He always has a gold card as far as I remember on Ultimate Team. And gets a few informs each game. So it could have been him. Hopefully it was Adriano actually because he's got a really good card. Like if he got an SBC card, he'd have like 94 pace or something. He would be very good. But I'm not too sure who the top scorer was. So leave a comment down below. But... All you need to do, go and get all of these gold cards very cheaply. And again, as I've shown you with all the other leagues, I mean, I'm sure pretty much all of you know by now what to do. Go and get all of these cards here. Go and get all the silver cards for 150 or 200 coins. And just collect all of them. Send them to your club. Use foot sync so you make sure you get all of them. And just send them to your club. You're going to be covered for any future SBCs. And you're going to be getting cards for 150 or 200 coins. And you'll be able to sell them on easily in the future for upwards of 5,000 coins for them, for some of them. So it's as simple as that. Go and get these investments from all the different leagues I've shown you. You can make a huge amount of coins very, very easily. And I've done this in the past. I've been getting cards for 150 coins and selling them for like 10,000 coins in some cases. It's so, so easy and can make you a huge amount of coins extremely, extremely easily. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you did. If we could smash 250 likes, that'll be very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.